everybody, it's Amanda, aka Naturally Amanda. And my high puff right now is a little bit sad. It's small, it's not moisturized, and I don't like it. So today I'm gonna show you how I get a large, fluffy, moisturized, glorious high puff very, very quickly. If you wanna see that, stay tuned and be sure to subscribe and thumbs this video up for more. Normally to prepare for a high puff style, I would stretch my hair overnight. If you want to see how I do that, I do have a video and I will provide a link below so you can see how I stretch my hair. It's super easy, um, but yeah, that'll be below. So the first thing I'm going to do is stretch my hair with my Curie Do. I do have a video on my Curie Do. I just bought it with my own money, okay? So if you want to see that as well, I will put a link below for that. But yeah, I'm going to grab my Kiwi Do. Kiwi Do. Q redo and I'm gonna start stretching my hair so here's the Q redo it is kind of a large device um, but this is going to be how I stretch my hair quickly so I'm gonna heat this bad boy up and we are going to start the process I have a bit of leave-in conditioner and I'm going to put this on my ends I'm gonna grab my comb and I'm gonna start detangling with the comb first then I'm gonna go in with the Q redo to detangle it first. So the Q-Redo won't have a lot of work to do because my hair is pretty detangled. The steam is stretching my hair. Woo! It does get a little hot, I will warn you. Woo! It's like butter. It is gliding through like butter. And I'm gonna braid it and I'm just gonna keep it going around my whole head. That's it. As you can see, I'm making progress. I have a large section right here, and the Q-Redo is just gliding through my hair, and I'm almost done. I'm done Q-Redoing and braiding my hair. Um, probably took me 20 minutes at the most. So now I'm gonna let it dry for 30 minutes, and then I have to go. I'm gonna style my hair, and I'm gonna be on my way. So I will be back in 30 minutes to style. So my hair had time to dry and I'm just going to unbraid my hair now and style it and my puff will hopefully be big and beautiful and everything I wanted it to be. Here we go. So I've unbraided my hair and now I'm going to get my pick and stretch it and fluff it and make it as big as possible. Here we do does a really good job at stretching it and it's super moisturized so I'm happy with the results. So here I go. So I really like this volume. This is what I wanted. So I'm gonna get some Eco Styler Gel and I'm just gonna slick my edges and it's almost finished. So to get my high puff to stay put, I use a little stretchy band. I don't know the brand name, but I will try to find that for you and I will leave that in the description box. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna get my Eco Styler Gel and I'm gonna put it on my edges. So here's my Eco Styler Gel. I'm gonna put it on my fingertips and just massage it along the edges. Then I'm going to get my hard brush. I'm just going to brush it all up. Literally, you just inch it up like so. Inch, inch the back, inch the front, and that's it. So I'm all done with this high puff tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to subscribe and thumbs this video up, and I'll see you next time. Bye!